Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, how's life? I hope uh, we are fine at all Okay, today we will uh, continue our lesson about complex analysis And the material is Linear transformation and reverse transformation before we start our presentation today, let us introduce ourselves. Uh, the members are Dimas Yusuf Baharudin, Ambris Setiawan Harjoni, Reza Nur Fitrianto, Imanina Fitri Rahmawati, and Gilang Kusuma Lestari. Okay, first we will talk about linear transformation. To study mapping, W equals to capital A times Z, where capital A is a non-zero complex constant and Z is not zero. Uh, we write capital A and Z in exponential form. Capital A equals to A exponential of I alpha and z equals to r times exponential of i theta then w equals to a times r times exponential of i times alpha plus theta we can see from the equation w equals to a times r times exponential of i times alpha plus theta that transformation W equals to A capital A times Z expands or contract the radius vector representing Z by the vector A and rotates it through the angle alpha about the, the origin. The image of section section 13 from the book Complex Variable and Application by Brown and Churchill of a given region is therefore geometrically similar to the region. The mapping uh, capital W equals, equals to Z plus capital B, where capital B is any complex constant, is a translation by means of the factor representing the uh, capital B. That is, if capital W equals to U plus I V Z equals to X plus I Y and B equals to P1 plus I P2 then the image of any point X comma Y in the Z plane is the point U comma V equals to X plus P1 comma Y plus P2 in the capital W plane since its point at any given region of the Z plane is map, mapped into the new the W the capital W plane in this manner, the the image region is geometrically congruent to the original one. The general the general non-constant linear transformation is capital W equals to capital A times Z plus B, where capital A is not zero. It's a composition of the transformation, uh, capital Z equals to A times Z, where A is not equal to zero, and uh, capital W equals to capital Z plus B. When z is not equal to zero, it is evident an expansion or a construction, contraction, and a rotation followed by a translation. And the next is example. The mapping w equals one plus i z plus two transforms the rectangular region in the z equals x comma y plane of figure 116 into the rectangular region shown in the w equals u comma v plane there this is seen by expressing it 
as a composition of the transformation C equals 1 plus IC and W equals C plus 2. Writing 1 plus I equals square root of 2 exponential I P over 4 and C equals R exponential I theta. One can put the first of transformation in the form C equals square root of 2 R exponential I theta plus p over 4 this first transformation does expands the reduce factor for a non-zero point z by the factor square root of 2 and rotates it counterclockwise p over 4 radians about the origin the second of transformation is of course a translation two units to the right the transformation w equal to 1 over z the equation w equal to 1 over z establish a one-to-one -one correspondence between the non-zero points of the z and the w plans since absolute value square of z equal to c times c bar the mapping can be described by means of the successive transformations capital z equal to z over absolute value square of c and w equal to capital z bar the first of these transformations is an inversion with respect to the unit cycle Absolute value of C equal to 1. That is, the image of a non-zero point Z is the point capital Z with the properties absolute value of capital Z equal to 1 over absolute value Z and argument capital Z equal to argument Z. Thus, the point in the finite plane that are exterior to the circle are mapped onto the non-zero points interior to it in the figure 118 and conversely the non-zero points interior to the circle are mapped onto the exterior points in the finite plane each point on the circle is mapped onto itself the second of transformation is simply a reflection in the real axis this is the figure 118. If we write transformation W equal to 1 over Z as TZ equal to 1 over Z with Z not equal to 0, then we can define T at the origin and at the point at infinity so as to be continuous on the extended complex plane. To do this, we need only refer to section 17 to see that limit z approaches to zero tz equal to infinity since limit z approaches to zero one over tz equal to limit z approaches to zero z equal to zero and limit z approaches to infinity tz equal to zero since limit z approaches to zero t 1 over z equal to limit c approaches to 0 c equal to 0 in order to make t continuous on the extended plane then we write t 0 equal to infinity t infinity equal to 0 and t z equal to 1 over c for the remaining values of c more precisely limits 4 and 5 refer that Limit Z approaches to ZO, TZ equal to TZO. For each point in the extended Z plane, including ZO equal to 0 and ZO equal to infinity, the fact that 
T is continuous everywhere in the extended C plane is now a consequence of limit. Because of this continuity, we tacitly assume that Pz is intended when the function 1 over z is referred to and the point at infinity is involved. Reverse transformation in other reference. The inverse function is function form fz equal to 1 over z. This function is 1 to 1 function except z equal to 0 and w equal to 0. The differential of this function is given by f prime equal to negative 1 over z square, which is defined for all z except z equal to 0. So this function is analytic at all z except at the center of the coordinates. Instinctively, it seems clear that under the inverse function, point close to z equal to 0 are mapped to points in the far region of the plane W. Whereas, points far from z equal to 0 are mapped to near points at w equal to 0. Geologically, this can be approached by writing z and w in polar form. If z equal to r g is t, then w equal to 1 over r cos negative t, which can be explained by under the inverse function of a point with modulus r and the argument t is mapped to a point with modulus 1 over r and argument negative t. The next material is mapping by y equals to 1 over z. We have known that the equation y equals to 1 over z is a one-to-one -one correspondence between the non-zero points of the z and the y planes. We also have known that the square of modulus z is the multiplication between z and its conjugate, or the absolute value of z square is equals to z times z bar. So, w equals to 1 over z can be treated as two successive mappings. When a point w equals to u plus iv is the image of a non-zero point z equals to x plus iy in the finite plane under transformation y equals to 1 over z, we know that the absolute value of z square is equals to z times z bar. Then, z is equals to the absolute value of z square over z bar or z is equals to the square of modulus z divided by the conjugate of z. We can change z in the equation w equals to 1 over z with the square of modulus z over the conjugate of z and we get w equals to z bar over the absolute value of z square or w equals to the conjugate of z divided by the square of modulus z. A point w equals to u plus iv is the image of a non-zero point z equals to x plus iy in the finite plane under the transformation w equals to z bar over z times z bar. So, we change w into u plus iv, z into x plus iy, and z bar into x minus iy. Then, we get u plus iv equals to x minus iy over x square minus i square y square. Since i square is equals to minus 1, so we get u plus iv equals to x minus iy over x square plus y square. Then, u is equals to x over x square plus y square, and v is equals to minus y over x square plus y square. Based on these relations between coordinates, it shows that the mapping w equals to 1 over z transforms circles and lines into circles and lines. When there are real numbers a, b, c, and d, and b square plus c square is more than 4ad, 
the equation a times x square plus y square plus bx plus cy plus d equals to zero represents an arbitrary circle or line where a is not equals to zero for a circle and a equals to zero for a line condition b square plus c square is more than 4 ad when a is not equals to zero is evident if x plus b over 2a square plus y plus c over 2a square is equals to the square root of b square plus c square minus 4 ad over 2a square when a equals to zero then the equation b square plus c square is more than 4 ad becomes b square plus c square is more than zero which means that b and c are not both zero since the mapping w equals to 1 over z transforms circles and lines into circles and lines then if x and y satisfy a times x square plus y square plus bx plus cy plus t equals to zero the equation u equals to x over x square plus y square and v equals to minus y over x square plus y square can be used to substitute for those variables thus u and v satisfies the equation d times u square plus v square times b u minus c v plus a equals to zero which also represents a circle or lines conversely if u and v satisfies equation d times u square plus v square plus b u minus c v plus a equals to zero then x and y satisfies a times x square plus y square plus bx plus cy plus d equals to zero based on u equals to x over x square plus y square and v equals to minus y over x square plus y square based on equation a times x square plus y square plus bx plus cy plus d equals to zero and d times u square plus v square plus pu minus cv plus a equals to zero it is clear that a circle with a is not equals to zero not passing through the origin with d is not equals to zero in the z plane is transformed into a circle not passing through the origin in the w plane a circle with a is not equals to zero through the origin or d is equals to zero in the z plane is transformed into a line that doesn't pass through the origin in the w plane a line with a equals to zero not passing through the origin or d is not equals to zero in the z plane is transformed into a circle through the origin in the w plane a line with a is equals to zero through the origin or d is equals to zero in the z plane is transformed into a line through the origin in the w plane under the inverse function points close to z equals to zero are mapped into points in the far region of the plane w whereas points far from z equals to zero are mapped into near points at w equals to zero the construction of y equals to one over z is like the picture below and the next is example of reciprocal or reverse transformation for the first problem determine the transformation of line a where z equal to x plus i y and y equal to 1 under the reciprocal transformation. The solution is, every point on a line curve A where z equal to x plus i y and y equal to 1 under w equal to u plus i v 
would be u equal to x over x squared plus 1 and v equal to negative 1 over x squared plus 1. Remember, in reciprocal transformation, under w equal to u plus iv, the u would be x over x squared plus y squared and v would be equal to negative y over x squared plus y squared. And then by squaring and sum u and v, obtained u squared plus v squared equal to x over x squared plus 1 squared plus negative 1 over x squared plus 1 squared equal to x squared over x squared plus 1 squared plus 1 over x squared plus 1 squared equal to x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 1 squared. We can simplify by 1 over x squared plus 1 and it's same with negative v. And then we get u squared plus v squared equal to negative v. And then by completing the square, q square plus v square equal to negative v. And then q square plus v square plus v equal to zero. u square plus v square plus v plus one over four equal to one over four. And then we got u square plus the absolute value of v plus a half square equal to one over four. Or, we got the absolute value of w plus a half square equal to 1 over 4. Thus, the absolute value of w plus a half equal to a half. This last equation is a circle equation in w field with the center is 0 point negative a half and the radius is a half. So that the transformation illustrated by in Z field, we can see it form a straight line where y equal to 1. And in the W field, it formed a cycle with center is 0, comma, negative a half and the radius is a half. Second, we are going to see the transformation of vertical line x equal to 1 under the reciprocal transformation of w equal to 1 over z. From 1 over z equal to x over x square plus y square minus y over x square plus y square i, we obtained u equal to x over x square plus y square and v equal to negative y over x square plus y square. Then, since every point in line formed by z equal to 1 over iy, we obtained u equal to x over 1 square plus y square and v equal to negative y over 1 square plus y square. By squaring and sum u and v, obtained u square plus v square equal to u. Then we get u square plus v square equal to u. u square plus v square minus u equal to zero. And then u square minus u plus 1 over 4 plus v square equal to 1 over 4. And then we got u minus a half square plus v square equal to 1 over 4. And then the root of u minus a half square plus v square equal to half. And then we got a cycle of the absolute value of w minus a half equal to a half. We will determine the region of Rz more than 1, Rz less than 1, 
and Rz equal to 1 in W field. Suppose the region inside circle is the absolute value of W minus a half less than a half. And then the absolute value of U plus IV minus a half less than a half. And then the square root of U minus a half square plus V less than a half. u square minus u plus 1 over 4 plus v square less than 1 over 4. And then we get u square minus u plus v square less than 0. The next is we get x over x square plus y square square minus x over x square plus y square plus negative y over x square plus y square square less than zero and then x square minus x times x square plus y square plus y square over x square plus y square square less than zero and then we get x square minus x times x square plus y square plus y square less than zero we simplify x square plus y square times 1 minus x less than 0 then we get 1 minus x less than 0 and then 1 less than x thus the region inside the circle is a mapping from region x more than 1 by the same way, can be shown that the region outside the circle is a mapping from region x less than 1, and the line in circle is mapping from line x equal to 1. This picture shows the region. We can see in the z field, it forms a line where x equal to 1. By transformation w equal to a half, in W field, we obtain a circle with radius is a half and the center is 0, a half. That's all for our presentation. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.